The man accused of setting off a wave of violence across Memphis this weekend made his first court appearance today. Kadarian Kraft, who was out on bond for other crimes when police say he shot three people Sunday, is facing a slew of charges, including murder. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Alex Coleman. And I'm April Thompson. Today, Kraft's attorney requested a mental evaluation. WRAG's Jerita Patterson with more from today's arraignment. Cordarian Kraft, flanked by officers, was officially arraigned Tuesday morning as Judge Karen Massey read aloud each of his seven charges. A sexually aggravated robbery and hate felony that carries 15 to 60 years. His most severe charge, first degree murder, which the judge informed the 20 year old could result in the death penalty or a life sentence if convicted. If someone heard that, it would be terrifying. So. Um, for him, this whole situation is just scary and terrifying. Because Kraft is accused of committing a capital offense, the judge denied bond. First degree murder, so I will not say bond. This sparked a motion from Kraft, who sat sobbing at times, while his newly retained lawyer, Brandon Hall, addressed the court appealing for a mental evaluation. Is he claiming he snapped? What, you know, can you share any? Think at all as to why that request was made. Anytime on a case this serious, if there's any indication of a prior mental health issue, you have to file it. Hall could not go into detail because of attorney client privileges, but who did speak publicly and passionately. This is real life. Right. This is something I got to deal with. Absolutely. And everybody that person that died, all that. Everybody got to deal with all that. Without mincing words, was a woman who identified herself as Kraft's mother, telling us her first name is Nikki. My son is not the type of person, and I'm sorry for everything that happened to all the other people, but it's more to the story, and when everything get out, they'll understand what's going on. Emotions boiling over outside court with Kraft's mother saying there is more to this case than meets the eye. We could learn what's next in the next two weeks following that mental evaluation, as Kraft and his newly retained lawyer have been ordered back to court at the end of the month. We'll be there as well. Reporting inside the CJC, Jarita Patterson, WREG, News Channel 3. And Kraft has been ordered back to court in two weeks. His attorney says the 20-year-old is in protective custody.